Hello everyone. Today we are playing a new game. Uh, this is called Timber and Stone. It's just come out into a beta. It was a project I kickstarted, and uh, they, you know, they just released a beta for anyone who pledged over thirty dollars. I think it was. Yeah, thirty dollars it was. Yeah. And uh, here we are. So what is what is it? Well, Timber and Stone is, in a nice easy way, to describe the game. It is Dwarf Fortress with a UI. That's right. And 3D. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's that's essentially... I mean, that's roughly what it is. It's obviously it's got lots, quite a few differences to Dwarf Fortress. Um, there's no stockpiles. Everything's manu ma managed kind of virtually. Um, and the people... There's less about... When in Dwarf Fortress, every dwarf has their individual lives as well. They go out and, you know, they sleep... Eat, throw snatchy parties or whatever else they do, um, and they're very unique each dwarf. Generally, these people they just right now, at least right now anyway, they just kind of sit there and you just they just do what you tell them to, and you know they might do more later, which is possible. But it depends on. Uh, I mean, it's still an alpha, uh, beta. Sorry, so we'll see what happens. And for beta, for what I've played so far, not bad. It's got a few bugs I've seen. And notice, but generally very well done. So the uh, first thing we want to do is we want to try and get some food. So one of the guys we started off with was a uh, forager, and so he's going to go around and see these little bushes here. He's going to go to those and he's going to start, you know, picking the berries from them so we can eat them. Um, now next thing we need to get a woodcutter. So you, you've got woodcutting skills. So click there, and this is all the skills by the way and the levels of them. And he's now level two, Michael Martin. Uh, Michael, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just don't. Oh, phone. Shh. Okay. So, uh, over here is the equipment slot. And you can manually choose this equipment for what, for all you know, whatever equipment and axe. Uh, wood, oh, God. <laughs> for whatever a woodchopper would need. But you can also click it. And so, what it will do, click there, you will automatically select the best quality axe, pretty much. And so, you're just going to go after a tree. Uh, to cut down, one I right clicked on, as you saw me do earlier, and click chop two. Now we're going to need a lot of wood. So, ooh, don't want to rotate yet. So we just go chop this tree. Get a bunch of trees chopped, because you know he's going to be doing that for a while. Now, so while that's going on, we want to get a carpentry bench, so we can start making more equipment. Because eventually these axes and stuff will break, and that will be bad. It'll be very bad. So that needs wood logs. It's gone yellow. That means it needs uh, more raw resources. So just wait for him to cut down this tree, and then the raw resources will be available. Now, what does it? You need a carpenter to cut that down. So do we have a carpenter? Yep. Yeah, we have a level five carpenter already. So here we go. Sort that out. Let's see what else we got here. We've got a miner. We've got stonemason. Good. Right. So while they're doing that, we're going to do a bit of digging. Hmm. See where we, where should we dig? Just dig over here. So we get design, we get a dig, and you click a block and you just move your cursor across. We don't want that one. That we want this one. Here. So if we dig, there we go. Just dig the. Actually, I want to go down one. So if we go that, like that. Nope, that didn't work. Okay. Oh, they don't go down. But anyway, there we go. Problem solved. So, guy's gonna come along and he's gonna dig all this out. It's just a little area right now. Um, do I actually have a? No, I haven't got a miner, so that would be a problem. So let's see. Does anyone have the mining skill? Oh, we do. We just haven't told him to equip his weapon, uh, his axe, uh, pickaxe. So we've done that now, and he's gonna go off and start shopping at that, uh, picking at that. Wow, I'm getting everything mixed up today. <laughs> so let's see. Who do we have left around the campfire? We have a stonemason, a builder, and a carpenter. So why hasn't that been built? Sure we've got enough resources for that now. Oh right, yeah, we need more stone. Sorry, I got the the things. See what in brackets is what we need and on the side is what we have. So he's gonna go off, hit the stone here, when he gets some stone. 
and it'll say at the bottom, hopefully, I think it does. Just, and then eventually we should get two stone. And then he'll go off and work on that, hopefully. So uh, these are all the resources we currently got. Got some raw materials, got some building materials, got some crafting materials, hand tools, weapons and armour. Uh, of course we don't have all of these yet. Now to craft stuff. So say we wanted some uh, more axes. You just click there and you click, oh, the, oh our hammers really. And we click add to queue and it just add them to a queue and then the people that can build stuff or that particular item will go off and build that. Nice and easy. See how's this stone come on? Oh we should have this enough for this uh... Yeah, we should have tons of this crafting bench. No, maybe I was right. No, I was right the first time. You need two stone and six wood. Oh, we haven't got enough wood, that's why. That's why. Have I marked you to be cut down? Marked you to be cut down. We just cut down quite a few trees around here. I think they regrow. See, there's a little bug right there. Two trees moulded into one, essentially. <laughs> but, uh, it's a small thing. You know, it's a, it's a beta, what you expect. There's going to be bugs. Um, and I'm, I'm already quite impressed with how the beta's turned out. So one thing we want to do, straight off the bat, is we need to get, we need to get more lampposts. We need to get lampposts. Because it gets dark at night. Very, very dark. So we, uh, we have some rope, we need some iron. And we need some animal fat. So uh, what we need, oh so, so the, build, the carpenter, oh we need a carpenter to do that, don't we? And we need to tell him to equip his best hammer. I forgot about that. You need to make sure that you tell them to equip their best hammer or they won't do it. We've completely run out of hammers, apparently. Okay. Well, we'll get some more soon. Don't worry, game. Don't worry. So, uh, while that's going on, we'll get a masonry's bench right next to it. Yep. Go to resources. And we're... Uh, let's get some more hammers. One, two. We'll get two of each. we get two hammers there. Two stone axes and two stone picks, spares. Ooh, now see this is another bug here. Um, he's working on a equipment from the fireplace when he probably should be at there. But you know, once again, it's just how it is sadly. Little bugs, you know, they'll be fixed later on definitely. Get the stone forged, because if we're gonna get iron let's see. Yeah, we'll just pop it down right there. It's good to me. Okay, so let's go check on our uh, little mine here. Nice. Nice. So let's, uh, let's dig it out a bit. Let's move it up one and dig it across. Now I'm trying to remember... Ooh, what was the key to go down? Can't remember now actually, now that I think about it. Maybe it was page down. Maybe it was arrow down. Shift arrow down. Control the arrow down. Mm. Plus or minus. No resource lost. Good. But he failed to make it. Oh. Does it still get added to the queue? No, it's removed with the queue. So we'll get another two of those because we're running low anyway. And we'll get some more stone hammers. Oh, right. So for now, we'll just, we'll just leave that blank because we're not making anything. What do we need for a masonry bench? More wood and more stone in general. Okay. Is he digging through that rock? He is, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. I wonder what those coordinates are. Strange. Right, so we just need to wait on that. Oh, it's starting to get dark now. Where's our... Oh my god, he's gone miles away. Just go back to the camp, bro. Just go back there. We'll take you off that. Okay. Look how dark as thing get. You can't see, literally. You won't be able to see later on. It's ridiculous. But it's awesome. And it'll be good once we get some proper light sources. Now, if I could work out what down was... I remember that it was on the video, but I've completely forgotten. No, it's not the old Dwarf Fortress keys. Oh yeah, I was pressing the right keys, it was just really high up, that's why. Okay, cool, cool. Here we go. 
Okay, so... Just, uh, we'll just dig that out. There you go. Oh, no, I don't want to quit. I meant right click. <laughs> Sorry. Did I accidentally dig that? I did, didn't I? Nope. Oh, no. Ah, there we go. <laughs> it's shift alt, by the way, guys, if you want to know. A bit awkward, some of the key bindings, but, you know, it's all right. I guess there's not really much of an alternative to that, is there? So what can we craft with you? What's new? Oh, man, it's getting dark now, isn't it? Look at that. Quite blacksmith. Ooh, something's the carpentry and masonry. Ooh, stone hoe. <laughs> right. Well, that's alright, we've got plenty of stuff now, so... Uh, do we have a farmer, actually? Do we have anyone who can farm? You can. So we're going to set you to a farmer now, actually, for a bit. And we'll get some, we'll get some crops going. How about that? Hmm. We'll get some corn down. Now, we'll do a beautiful patch of corn right there. And next to it, we'll do some wheat. And we will do some pumpkin seeds. Yeah. Like that. That looks good. Awesome. Because, you know, then now people can make pumpkin pie, which is amazing and very Christmassy. Mm. At least in America it's very Christmassy. I believe so. Why have you stopped? Oh, we're done digging out, are we? I want you to dig out that as well. Oh, but what is that? Oh, we got some tin ore too. Awesome. Um, how do we get? No. Oh crap! I didn't mean to send you over there. Sorry. Okay, there we go. So let's see what we got. We got tin ore. We got some iron ore there, so that's good. Have we got any coal? Because I'd like to use coal instead of. Uh, Wood. No. Okay, well, I guess what we'll do here is we'll choose wood. And we're uh, going to building materials? Crafting materials. And we need a blacksmith. Do we have a blacksmith? You, you can be a blacksmith. So automatically we equip the weapon tool you need. Hammer. And let's get some uh, oh, crafting. Ingots. Add to cube. I'm add to the cube because we got enough for two. And there we go. Look how dark it is. <laughs> Still getting darker. I wonder what that does. Did we actually add any? Does it do? Oh wow, it's getting dark now. But it looks good. The lighting and all that. Oh, I, I love the art style in this game. It looks so good. I mean, it's not... It's not, like, graphically amazing. But it looks nice and crisp. Well, it's not crisp, but it's blocky. It looks very blocky. <laughs> I love... I think the voxels have done very well in this game. Um, they've done very well in this game. Right, good. Well, at least you pl provide a bit of a light source. Now, this doesn't keep burning up your wood. It only uses up materials when you're actually using it for something, which we're not now. So, it's alright. It's all good. Right, what did we want? Why did we want iron? Ah, yes, we wanted it for a lighting thing. A lighting thing. Now, animal fat. Oh, we didn't get animal fat. So, uh... 
you're a farmer, but you're also. Do you do? Hmm. Okay, well you can be a forager. You got archery skill, and you can go hunt some chickens for us. You'll kill some chickens. Add your range on here so we can see what you shoot now. Oh yes, one shotted. Good job. And I guess he's gonna <laughs> right on our food as well. Nice. <laughs> nice. And let's see what do we get from this. We should get feathers and meat, and maybe we'll get some animal fat. Because that's what we need, animal fat. And we'll put like some light sources near our foods here, so we can see. You almost done there, bro? No, not even close. Hmm. Now look how dark it is. You can't see anything, can you? Ridiculously dark. Good thing these people can uh, see in the dark. They must have night vision, because there's like guys over there like chopping down wood, isn't he? Uh, is that him there? Oh no, he stopped. I'll well, we'll give him another tree to chop down. There he goes, he's off to go, you know. Ah, cool, so we got some food and we got some feathers. And he's going to go off and... Point blank range, shoot that chicken. I guess you need to in this, you know, this lighting condition. You couldn't hit anything over here. Couldn't even, couldn't even see it. But... Maybe he's got night vision as well. He's got a pretty pretty badass cape, so he probably does have night vision. So we've got quite a bit of wood now. It's not much, but it's some. Definitely some. And I think, you know, we've we've shown the game off for now. And I think Is it getting lighter? I can't tell. Ooh, what's he doing? Got some more feathers. No, it's in the same place, sorry my bad. Hmm. Well, anyway, I think we'll end it here for the day, and we'll come back later, and, uh, yeah. Oh, damn it, new animal fat. Hmm. Well, yeah, we'll come back later, and we'll see how things progress. So, I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.